Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Football and welcome to another African Cup of Nations update video. Now, the group stage is done. What an incredible group stage it was. Some incredible games. Some games that ended nil-nil and one-nil that weren't too great, but at the end of the uh, of the group stage, the last three, four days were incredible. And uh, you, ha you have the, the groups on the right side. I'll go through them. And obviously on the left side, we have the round of 16 fixtures. I will be doing a preview and um, the predictions for all the eight fixtures for the next round and also talking a little about um, how the groups went. So thank you for, uh, for subscribing. Thank you for following the page. If you're watching on Facebook, I always appreciate it. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, follow, all that. And um, yeah, let me know your predictions for the games in the comment section as well. Just eight games, which teams are you expecting to go through? So um, let, let's start with how the groups went. So... Obviously, Cameroon won Group A. I did expect that Burkina Faso and Cape Verde also went through. Um, so they are taking the first two teams in every group and then four teams that finished third. So the best um, points in terms of finishing third, which teams at third or in third had the most points or best or better goal difference. So Cameroon, Burkina Faso went through as number one and two. Um, Senegal and Guinea went through as number one and two from uh, Group B. Uh, Morocco and Gabon went through as uh, first and second in Group C. Nigeria and Egypt as well, one and two in Group D. Ivory Coast, Equatorial Guinea, surprisingly, in Group E. And Mali and Gambia in Group F. Gambia, another surprise package. Cape Verde finished um, as one of the best um, third-place teams. Um, Comoros, of all teams, finished as one of the best third-place teams. Uh, teams um, same as Malawi as well, and also Tunisia. So Sierra Leone and Sudan missing out. Sierra Leone, unfortunately, missing out after such a good tournament. So... Where we are right now, we are in the round of 16. The draws have been made. I will be going through all the predictions. So let me go through the fixtures. Burkina Faso against Gabon, Nigeria against Tunisia, Guinea against Gambia, Cameroon versus Comoros, Senegal against Cape Verde, uh, Morocco against uh, Malawi, Ivory Coast against Egypt, and Mali against Equatorial Guinea. So these are not my actual predictions here. Yeah? Um, I just typed in before I actually knew which teams are going to play. So let's go through um, the games first. The first one will be Burkina Faso against Gabon. So Burkina Faso in the group stage, um, in the first game they did well against Cameroon, but lost that game through penalties. It wasn't a, a bad game. Um, they also beat Cape Verde, but drew with um, Ethiopia, surprisingly. Um, Gabon did very well in the groups, um, could have easily finished top of the table. They beat, um, they drew with Ghana, they beat Comoros, very good goal, and... Um, Against Morocco, they should really have um, they should have won the game. So let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes in the in terms of this match. I am going to go for Burkina Faso one and Gabon two. I'm going to go for a Gabon win three goals in that game. I fancy Gabon to win it. Gabon drew two games in the group stage. Let's see. Um, could be another draw, could be another penalty shootout or extra time or something like that. But I'm going to go for Gabon to win this two. And without their best players, they've still done very well. Um, the second fixture will be Nigeria and Tunisia. Tunisia obviously had that drama against Mali. In the last game, they lost to Gambia. And the only win came up against uh, Mauritania, a 4-0 win. Nigeria, on the other hand, as you can see, three wins out of three. The only teams to do that. And I'm going to go for... Nigeria to win this by three goals to one. I think Nigeria will concede, but um, score three goals of their own. The next, th those are the fixtures that are going to be played on Sunday. As always, I will be doing watch alongs for that, uh, or both games every day. Um, on Monday, we will have Guinea against Gambia. I don't think we'll get too many goals here. I even think we're going to see extra time. So I'm going to go for a 1 1 draw. I think we will probably see extra time in this one and maybe even penalties. So 1 1 draw there. Guinea drew with Senegal and Gambia, a surprise package, beating Tunisia on the final day, um, also uh, beating Mauritania as expected, so 1-1 one, one there. The next game will be the host against Comoros. Comoros um, beating Ghana to eliminate them from the AFCON, but Cameroon will be too strong. Their top scorer, Abubaka, the top scorer of the competition, they will be playing in Yaoundé, so I am going to go for Cameroon to win this by three goals to nil. Um, the next game will be Cape Verde against Senegal. Senegal struggled in the group stage. In fact, they've only scored one goal. One goal. Senegal has scored one goal, and that was a penalty in all three games. Cape Verde, on the other hand, um, they did well a couple, in a couple of games. Um, 
they did uh, beat Ethiopia, but Ethiopia are down to 10 men for most of the game. Uh, you'd have expected them to to lose to Cameroon, but they ended up drawing. So I think they've done well. Uh, I don't think Senegal will be comfortable in this game. I think they'll win it too. And I think they'll finally get a couple of open play goals and win it by two goals to one. Uh, the next game will be Morocco and Malawi. Uh, I think Morocco have done okay. I think the top five are teams to do okay. Malawi as well, but I think this will be a bit too much for them. So I'm going to go for Morocco to win this by two goals to one. Um, so the Cameroon and Guinea fixtures will be on Monday. Senegal and Morocco will be on Tuesday. And then the final two fixtures on Wednesday, e- Ivory Coast against Egypt, what a game. Ivory Coast absolutely trashing uh, another team from North, uh, North, uh, I almost said North America, North Africa. That was Algeria. They won it um, comfortably, could have been four or five. And Egypt lost the first game to Nigeria, but uh, won the next two against Sudan and Guinea-Bissau. As you can see, Ivory Coast are unbeaten so far. And um, I actually think that will go. And I think that team has looked very strong. Um, Egypt, depending on a couple of players, Ivory Coast could bring in Kone, Pepe, Zaha, Hale, all of them doing well. Frank Kessi. I'm going to go for a high-scoring game here on Wednesday. Ivory Coast 3, Egypt 2. A very entertaining game there. Um, the last game on Wednesday will be Mali against Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea have won two games. Mali have won two games. I think Mali will proceed, but I can see it being in extra time. I can see it being 1-1 one, one, um, after 90 minutes and then Mali scoring in extra time. So that will mean Mali go through to the next round. So I've gone for, let me do a recap quickly. Um, I have gone for uh, Gabon to beat Burkina Faso 2-1. Nigeria to beat Tunisia 3-1. Guinea and Gambia to draw 1-1 probably will go all the way to penalties. Cameroon to comfortably beat Comoros 3-0. Senegal to beat Cape Verde 2-1. Morocco to beat Malawi 2-1. Ivory Coast to beat Egypt 3-2. That could um, easily go to extra time and then Ivory Coast win it in extra time. And Mali to beat Equatorial Guinea 2-1. So from these five games, eight games, I'm expecting five of them to be settled by the 90th minute. Gabon to win by the 90th minute. Nigeria to win by the 90th minute. Um, Guinea and Gambia to go all the way to penalties, um, Cameroon to beat Comoros in 90 minutes, Senegal to beat Cape Verde in 90 minutes, Morocco to also beat Malawi in 90 minutes, although their goal could come late, very late in the game, Ivory Coast to beat Egypt in extra time, and Mali to beat Equatorial Guinea in extra time. So I will see at least one penalty shootout. Hopefully there's more to um, the, for more drama, basically. But those are my predictions. Let me know what your predictions are for the fixtures. It has been a decent um, African Cup of Nations so far. Um, uh, obviously, make sure to hit the like button. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. And uh, we are close to 1,000, just like 200 away or something, 200 and something away. And if you're watching on Facebook, keep supporting by following the page and by commenting down below what your predictions are. So thank you for watching this. Um, keep staying safe, and I'll definitely catch up with you guys soon.